Hello and welcome to a new reaction video. My name is Larissa and today I'm going to react to the sixth episode from the Pacific. Before I start reacting to this episode, I want to tell you that you can already see my reaction to the other four episodes. They're available on my Patreon where you can also find my full reactions to all the episodes. The link is in the description, so check it out if you're interested. So we've seen in the show that these guys have to deal with a lot of things. All the stuff they have to go through, I feel like that would have such an impact on your mental health. And that can really put things in perspective and and uh, make you realize we all have our own challenges. And when you talk about those challenges, that can really help. So that brings me to BetterHelp. First of all, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. So in my own experiences, I've had therapy in the past and this really helped me. And now I was thinking like, what would things be at this moment where I could use therapy for? And then I started thinking like, I do, have a feeling like a lot of the times that I'm kind of trapped in my life. I'm already trying to like improve that. I'm trying to make changes, uh, keep growing, stuff like that. But besides doing all that stuff yourself, it would also really help to talk with someone about that. So that's where BetterHelp comes in. They offer a really easy way to find a licensed therapist that fits with you. It's also easier to make the step to actually do therapy. For me, it's always really hard because like, okay, but you gotta find the right therapist. You gotta wait really long. You gotta, you know, there's just so many steps in my head I have to take. It's really easy because you can just go to their site and you can do it your own way. Like if you want it to be phone calls, that's fine. If you want it to be video chats, that's fine. And you can even do it through messages if you feel more comfortable with that. The process is pretty straightforward. Uh, once you fill out the questions, you get matched with a therapist within 48 hours in most cases. And they have a really diverse range of therapists and probably more than you could find in your own area. Something that's for me personally pretty annoying when I try to find a therapist is that mostly the first match is not really like fit for me and then it's such a hassle to switch therapists and this is absolutely not the case with better help you can just switch your therapist if you don't feel like it's the right fit and it's really easy and it doesn't cost any extra money so that's really nice so if you're looking to start therapy i would really recommend better help i've got a promo link in my description it gives you 10 percent off in the first month so i would say Check it out, see if it's something for you. And then I would really like to thank BetterHelp again for sponsoring this video. And then we are going to continue with the Pacific. We saw this battle in the end and it felt like it just went on and on and on. And um, we saw Eugene and the way that it was already so hard to even get off the beach. Like you just arrived and it's even hard to just like enter the whole situation you know of course we also had rami's character and um he's a bit weird but i think he's bringing something to the show um but yeah anyway that's where the the show started he pulled out the the tooth from the one guy because it was a golden tooth and i think that's kind of where it ended but it was really heavy i think the battle went on for like at least 15 minutes in the episode which is really long up to now all the battles we saw i think they were like five minutes or something and it's just like they arrived in broad daylight and like then in the end, it was dark already. I think they were going to sleep and shit was still going on. So that was pretty heavy. So yeah, I'm halfway now. I'm curious about the other half of this show. I saw that the episodes are really high rated, especially the ninth one, like I said before. So I'm excited to watch it. Yeah, let's just watch the sixth episode now. Also a lot of time skips up to now. Oh, where are we? See whoever it is calling so late in the evening? Yes, ma'am. It's a man in a uniform, ma'am. Ooh, that mostly doesn't mean anything good, does it? Oh, those are your jeans parents. Oh, I, I get it. They're, they must be really scared now. Oof. <laughs> oh! Oh, it's him. Oh, I thought it was someone who was going to tell them that he died, even though we know he didn't die. I didn't startle you, Mrs. Sledge. Oh, no. <laughs> Who the hell is this standing in my hallway? I want you to speak frankly about my Eugene. Mrs. Sledge, Eugene's with a lot of good Marines. First is the best there is. They look after each other. But I'm not worried about Eugene. Okay. I think that brings some hope. That's not so hard to hear, is it? Is he speaking the truth, though? It's so nice of him to pay them a visit, though. Especially because he just saw Eugene, of course. So it's nice to visit his parents. I wonder if, if Rami's character, if he's just really like that and he doesn't give a shit or if he's just trying to like come across that way. 
I think the second one because yeah, this is scary shit. Any word on Hoosier? We got hit pretty hard on the beach. We're still sorting out the casualties. God damn it, I just want some fucking water. It's probably gonna be like a few drops or nothing at all. Jesus. No water at all. Somebody found water. I swear to Christ, water. Oh, everyone's so desperate for water. Oh, nice. That doesn't. Oh, don't drink that. I already wanted to say that doesn't look very good. Oh, did they poison it? Jesus. Oh, gross. It already looked so like white. The only way to stop this Jap artillery is to get into those hills. Cross this airfield. Do not stop until we get across. We need water, Captain. I'm working on it, Corporal. Get back to your position. Pack it up. Yeah, already in the in the previous episode, someone was drinking it and they were already like, take it easy on the water. And yeah, it was really a foreshadowing that this was gonna happen. No water at all. We have to cross that. We're winding. I'll be over by the time you cross. I got a little water. That is so kind. But is it actual water? Yeah. No, it would be weird to fuck with him in this way. But I thought they were really all out of water, so... Nice of him to share. You gonna give him the water site? That's the least I can do for the water. <laughs> How could they send us up here without any fucking water? Well, good luck. Now he takes it. Stressful situation, I guess. Oh, I feel like so many of them are not gonna survive this again. Oh. Especially with like the big bombs. I feel like you hit so many people at the same time. Oh, you just see the body parts flying. Oh, and imagine just like getting hit in your leg just in the middle of there. And yeah, then you're just there. What can you do? Unless people drag you out, you have nowhere to go. Like... The thing I really love about this is that they're all such a brotherhood. And I know that's also why it's called Band of Brothers, the previous show. But like, I always notice that they're always sticking out for each other. Like also with the water and with like the running and they're helping each other and all. And it's just so nice to see. No one's selfish here. And that's like, as it should be. Oh. Oh. Again, a slaughter. Oh, this is impossible. Oh my god. Oh, this is impossible. Damn, Eugene made it again. Well, I read that he has a future, so <laughs> he's gonna make it, but still. Oh, just right behind them. Jesus fucking Christ. But also, I'd feel so bad for his parents if something happened to him. Like for everyone's parents, but we know his parents, so... <laughs> oh, The arm just flying around. Damn, it's a long way to run. At least you still have your leg. The ones who just lost their leg, they're truly fucked. Ooh. Halfway? Oh shit, he's not gonna make it. Oh. The fact that just till the end, he's doing everything to help the rest. Like he's still on the phone while he's dying. Oh yeah, he was the one with the leg. So many people died just crossing. Not even fighting, just crossing. This is insane to me. 
This is fucking ruthless. He's gonna help him, he's gonna help him. He's weird as hell, but he's a good guy, I think. You go, Eugene! Very nice. They lost at least 75% of their men already. <sighs> the way I was talking about the previous battle or yeah, was also here, but like, oh, that took so long. It was at least 15 minutes of the show. Up to now, this has been the whole episode. Oh, insane. Yeah, I feel like taking them out first is like your best chance right now. Oh. Okay, nice. I think they got all of them because they're not being shot at anymore. Oh shit, is that lucky? What happened? I think he's gonna be fine though. I didn't see him get hurt, did we? That's all we got. That's the one. Everyone is covered in blood. that <laughs> hold here till we load our wounded yes sir nice the wounded aboard let's get them on board hmm right there who is that john get him below uh. oh <coughs> can someone help him <laughs> I thought- is that a plane? I thought the- the previous, um, battle we saw was, like, heavy uh, from the previous episode, I mean, but this? And I feel like it wasn't even really a battle, they just tried to cross. <laughs> what you doing, Daniels? Okay. Jabs. Hey, Daniel. Second platoon, let's go. I can count the jabs from here. Hey, Daniel, you hear me? It, is he That's okay? I need Daniels here. I think Daniels is not okay. Doc, Daniels is gonna come and help you count bandages. Maybe get a little shut eye, yes, sir. There's so many to count. Uh, I know, guys. Oh. I know. All right, Daniels. He, I think he's just in shock or something. Yeah. Look at him. Poor guy. Sir, coming across that airfield today. I've never been more scared in my entire life. History is full of wars, fought for a hundred reasons. I have to believe every step across that airfield. Every man that's wounded, every man I lose, but it's all worthwhile because our cause is just. You handled yourself well today, Sledge. Mm-hmm. You'll be all right. Just remember your training. Yeah, I mean, of course we haven't seen him in training, but he's tougher than I imagined. I don't know why, I just kind of see him as a kid or something. I don't know what it is. I mean, he is a kid, obviously. Lots of them are just kids, but I mean, his friend, I think he turned 18 while they were somewhere there, so... I think he's a bit older now though, but I don't know, I just still kind of see him as a child. <laughs> Saw you reading last night. Writing too. Ain't supposed to write shit down, you know. Gives the Japs valuable intel, they find it. So I won't show it to him, man. <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> Got a smoke. Thanks, Slash Hammer. Slash Hammer. <laughs> I like that. That is a Jeez, good nickname. <laughs> Just the idea of now dying after you survived the whole crossing thing. I don't know why that scared me. Limited approaches of plunging fire all the way. We can't take this objective without unacceptable casualties. Do you copy? 
I feel like that was already the case before they crossed. Like, so many people died. Welcome back. Company's yours. Hmm. That's a great responsibility. <laughs> Where do the random dogs always come from? Can you believe this bullshit about the dog? Some dog supposed to smell a jack before me. Oh, okay. So, ain't no dog gonna make me sleep safe at night. Got a dog. Same's Deacon. Oh, Deacon. We got it, Gunny. I was asking Sledgehammer. Sledgehammer. Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> that was really random. <laughs> What the fuck was that? <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> At least something is funny. But I really like the, the nickname Sledgehammer. Imagine your nickname being Sledgehammer. That's pretty cool. What's that? It sounds like some guy having a nightmare. You better shut up or every nip on this island knows we're here. Who is it? God damn it, shut up! Quiet! No, no, no. Shut up! <sighs> Jesus, it's aggressive. Stop screaming! Yeah, at this point, just knock him out or something. I don't know. Did he just kill him? I just meant, like, like knock him out. Like, honestly, that was my first thought, but I was like, you're not going to kill your own brother, right? It's better him than all of us. <sighs> Had to be done. Oh my god. I, I get it, but, like, the whole thing is, when you return from war, most people have PTSD. And, like, I think a lot of them just can't live with the fact that they killed so many people. All the stuff they saw, of course. But just the idea of you having to kill one of your own men... I think that's like one of the worst you things. Say the same about you. Oh shit. Tried to get back here. I know. Lucky I know. You know what I like about this show? That it always focuses on someone else. Because I think for like two episodes, it was really focused on Lackey. Yeah. And now it's really focused on Eugene. And I think it's very interesting to just get different it. perspectives on the story. But still see them around, you know. King Company, move out! Up there is getting pounded. Hey, let's go home, cop. He's not doing too well, is he? Oh, so they're really going home. Okay. I also feel like at some point when you fought that many battles, you're like completely worn out, right? Just all the stuff you've been through, the amount of times you probably got wounded, even if it's just like small. After so much, you're I feel like you're gonna get like weaker or something. But I think they explain that kind of in Band of Brothers that you get like points or something and when you reach a certain amount of points you can go home, I think. Oh, that was it. Like, I don't know exactly how that works, but it makes sense, I think. So, Lackey and, and the other guy really are going home. Okay. I didn't see that coming at first. I thought they were just gonna get better and then they would be sent back. But yeah, I think it's better if they go home. I mean, also like, of course, Lackey, he had a lot of like wounds on his face and everywhere. But also mentally, I feel like he wasn't the same guy as he used to be. I think the other guy had a broken arm or something or, or just like a wounded arm. Um, but yeah, I hope we're still gonna see him. Like that's the, the biggest thing. I There's still four episodes left and I really wanna know how they're doing. I also think in the end we're gonna get another like thing about what happened to their lives, like the real people and yeah, who survived and all. So I'm, I'm curious if we're still gonna see them, but I think we will. Because what I also like is that they're really, um, they're mixing up the the like the home storylines and the storylines where they are. For example, the, the storyline where the, the friend from Eugene went to visit his parents. Like we ended at this huge battle last time, so I thought this episode is gonna, gonna start and we're gonna be back there. But instead, we, we were at this house. I was like, oh, where are we now? So I think it's nice that they're, they're mixing that up a bit. I feel like Band of Brothers didn't do it that much, but sometimes it's nice to just like be back in civilized society, you know? <laughs> so yeah, I think this was my reaction to this episode. Um, another heavy one. I think I said it a couple times. I honestly think up to now this was the heaviest one. Like the, the f previous one also was, 
but just the way they were trying to cross and the amount of people that died, the amount of people that went kind of crazy, the people that were in shock. Um, I don't know, man, it was so much. And like I said before, I just loved how they all tried to help each other. And yeah, this was a good episode. And I have to say, I really like uh, following Eugene's storyline. Also, um, I'm sorry, but I don't know a lot of names from the show apart from Eugene and Lucky. But uh, Rami's character, I think he's also kind of interesting. In the beginning, I was like, oh, he's really playing an asshole, right? But yeah, I mean, Eugene saved him. I felt like he was really grateful for that, but I feel like his character's not gonna like literally say that. But you really saw that he was grateful and they're kind of becoming buddies. And he's just a bit odd, but I think he's a good dude. And it's just nice to follow their storylines, so... Yeah, that was my reaction to this episode. If you already want to see the next few episodes, check out my Patreon. The link's in the description. And if you like this reaction, then please leave a like, subscribe, and then I really hope to see you next time. Bye!